Hi, I'm Andy Bello. I'm CEO of Lockdown Entertainment. I was born in Benin in uh, the Igbesama Agbado Street neighborhood in Benin. I attended Igbesama Primary School within the same neighborhood and proceeded to Immaculate Conception College right here in Benin also. Uh, coming from the kind of background that, uh, that I came from, having a TV was a big thing because we actually didn't have a TV set until I was in my first year in secondary school and I, I, I had this love for television so I, I, I will you know endure any insult, endure any pain, endure any slap, any knock on my head from the landlord's kids just to you know have the uh, privilege of standing by the landlord's window to watch his black and white TV and then I watch uh, such shows on NTA Benin uh, like uh, Music Panorama and everything that has to do with entertainment, every movie, uh, every, every, every comedy uh, uh, flick um, and then uh, also I, I developed this passion for music. Any neighbor that had a stereo set will be my very good friend. I'll be so loyal. I can wash plates for you. I, I, I can go on any errand for you just so I'll be able to not only listen to the music but to also have you know access to those LPs. You know I'll, I'll go through every album sleeve read the credits, the production credits. I want to know who the producer is. Uh, I want to know uh, who the bassist is. I want to know everything, the record label. So at, at a tender age, I'm talking about less than 10, I can pick up a, a record sleeve and tell you if it's Polygram Records, if it's Tambasi Records, if it's uh, Sony and every other record label. So I was able to like from there develop you know, the love and, and to, to also know that there are intricacies when it comes to music productions and, and, and what have you. And then um, as I grew further, uh, right before my eyes, the genre presently known as hip hop developed with the likes of LL Cool J, you know, Run DMC, Cool Modi and what have you. I, I will read uh, such magazines as Write On, Ebony and be able to like follow up on the trends because then there was no cable, MTV, BET were you know basically uh, non-existent then and then as I grew further when I had a TV set I, I watched TV till the shut down transmission I was always hungry for it and then in my teenage, my teenage because of my vast knowledge of, of music and entertainment, I'll be the go-to guy for uh, my friends when there are arguments about artists, years of releases of songs, what song is trending, though the word then wasn't trend, it was basically uh, based on popularity. Um, I'll follow the American Top 40 show, I remember, hosted by Shadow Stevens. I, I wonder where that guy is now. He would host the American Top 40 show then on radio for a four hour show and, and that would keep me abreast of you know what's happening in the music scene because my main passion was music and then movies and then uh, by the time I got to the university it was in my third year in the university that a friend of mine who was with uh, Edo Broca uh, Broadcasting Service TV, uh, no, Edo Broadcasting Service Radio, his name is Sola Alede, he's pre presently with uh, Channels Television. He got a TV show and uh, he called me and suggested that I join him to, uh, you know, present the program while I will be the one producing the program. Imagine such confidence for someone who has been in broadcasting to call you a, 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 a complete layman and say, come, let's work on this project together. It was the big opportunity that changed my life. It changed everything. Because right from the first edition, I started drawing up, you know, outline for the program. I, I, I started, uh, you know, putting content, content together. So right on the, on the job, I learned everything that I know today production, presentation, and every other thing that goes with it. The 
the first and most important achievement um, is the establishment of Lockdown Entertainment because upon that platform uh, came every other achievement. Uh, Lockdown Entertainment uh, actually started formal operations in uh, the year 2007, 5th of February to be precise, though there were, uh, uh, you know, uh, some informal productions then because production actually started from my dining table bed. Being able to have a formal office for Lockdown Entertainment was the biggest achievement for me so far. And then uh, the commencement of our television show, yeah, Music Mix. Uh, since 1st of August 2007, Music Mix has been on air. That means we're counting like how many years now? Imagine a kid that was born uh, on the 1st of August 2007. And then uh, came the awards. A lot of awards came. Um, the first and most important when it comes to awards will be uh, the very first uh, award I got from EBS, Edo, Edo Broadcasting Service um, uh, in Benin. It was an award for Music Mix as the most, or I think the best, the best entertainment show on the station. What makes it important is that, I, you know, I started off as a, a presenter in EBS. So it's like those that taught me what I know, those that taught me what I do, calling me back to say, well done, it, 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 it was quite touching and it was an emotional moment for me. Um, I've also got awards from uh, Student Union Government of NIIT, uh, several um, youth organizations have given me awards. Um, the one that stands out most, I'll say, is uh, the awards by uh, youth of uh, the, the Catholic parish at the Army Barracks at Kenwon Road. It, it, that one blew my mind because I had no idea they had such a platform. I got a phone call from them asking me to attend an event at the barracks and the barracks happened to be kilometers far away from town. And I was alone driving down a Kenwan Road. If you know the location, you know that, man. After driving for like 10, 15 minutes, I, I, I started, you know, getting scared that maybe I was being set up until, you know, I summoned the courage to go there knowing I had offended no one. And then I got to the barracks and behold, in the church building, a huge activity was going on and then, uh, an award was presented to me and then uh, came in 2012 uh, I was named among the 52 uh, um, most influential uh, entertainers in Nigeria by the netng.com it was actually on the 1st of October in 2012 when Nigeria clocked 52 they named uh, 52 uh, most influential entertainers in the country and my name happened to be on the list I, I, I was elated I mean come on it, it's just me now and then in 2013 um, Silver Bird Benin uh, gave me an award um, and also the Nigerian um, uh, entertainers in the EU uh, gave me an award in 2011 so many of them and I appreciate all of them. I appreciate all of them. My career in, in broadcasting and multimedia production, I would say, started uh, in the year 2000 when I joined Edo Broadcasting Service as the uh, pioneer presenter of Breakfast Groove alongside Suleiman Alede. By the time I was in my third year in the university then, I was actually uh, studying law or I studied law. But uh, at the time I graduated in 2002, I already had a blueprint of what I was going to do. I knew having a law degree would, would just be a formality. 
and, and uh, uh, broadcasting and uh, multimedia production was the way forward for me. So Lockdown Entertainment was actually registered as a company on the 23rd of January um, 2003. That was barely three months after I graduated from school. That's how it all began and life totally changed for this man called Andy Bailey. The story of my life has been about uh, courage. It's been about boldness in uh, deciding which way my life was going to turn. And th th there are several examples you can imagine uh, coming from where I am, uh, you know, coming from a, a home that virtually had nothing. Um, the career that was chosen for me was uh, wood carving. I developed the skill of wood carving at Airport Road. You know, that's like, that's like uh, the 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 core, the 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 crafts and and art and crafts uh, community in Benin. They, they they are basically based in the Airport Road uh, environment. And um, I, I I did a couple of years as a full time uh, ebony wood carving there. The decision that that was not the life for me was like uh, the, f the, the, the first groundbreaking decision that I took. I, I decided that I, I needed to go to school to, you know, turn things around for me. And I got into school to study law. But the biggest of all, the boldest of all, was walking away from a law degree you know, as I saying, I, I turned my back on legal practice to go into broadcasting and uh, multimedia production. I think that's the biggest step for me. For those who at the point of their life where um, they, they, they don't know whether to move forward or, or backward, turn right or turn left. Uh, I'll tell you this, um, the difference between failure and success basically is sleep. You know, um, sleep in the sense that when you sleep on an idea or you give up on an idea, you know, uh, I don't know, you, you just have yourself to blame. Um, when I started out, do you know I, I sought a loan of just 500,000 Naira? I say just today because I know I, I have a piece of equipment, just one piece of equipment that is worth far more than 500,000 Naira. I, I sought a loan of just 500,000 Naira. And my bank told me that my account has not performed up to uh, the, 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 the point where they can grant me 500,000 Naira loan. And I was like, but I need this loan to start off my business so the account can perform well. But guess what? A couple of years later, just a few years, I'm talking like uh, um, three, four years, the same bank uh, and the same account officer now who was now transferred to the marketing department had to come to me, you know, to seek funds in order for him to meet his target. And I laughed and I reminded him, that guy, just not long ago, I asked for just 500,000 Naira to push this business that you see today. You see, step by step, one piece of equipment, you know, after the other, I was able to like, you know, put the whole uh, lockdown entertainment and all its paraphernalia together and 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 people think it's it's a big thing now but it all started small it started with that decision that decision to move forward it was just small steps at a time very small steps progress was was you know pretty slow so when you make up your mind to bring that idea to reality the progress might be slow but believe, 
believe when your gut tells you this idea will work never give up because when you do you never can tell maybe we wouldn't have facebook today maybe there would have been no microsoft you know so ideas bring money and when you sleep on the idea no money comes <laughs>